Happy Saturday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. It is uh, it's about 11 a.m. when I'm recording this on Saturday morning, August the 8th, and just a little bit of a daily crafty chat update again today. My name's Caroline. Welcome back if you're um, stopping by for another visit, and welcome if you're brand new. Thanks for thanks for coming to chat crafts with me. So I. I thought today I would just share a few of the things that I've been working on over the last week. I'm getting ready to switch out one of my large stitching projects for a different one and I have an update today on my Smalls Exchange stitching that I've been doing and uh, a little bit of knitting too. Oh, and a podcast recommendation. Um, for a new, new to me channel that I've uh, started watching. And the reason why I can share that with you today is because we have internet. We have proper, I mean, obviously we have internet, but now we have wireless internet. Very fancy. This is, uh, this is pretty unheard of for us here that we can, that we can watch things like Netflix and Floss tube on YouTube. It's brand new and it's very exciting. It's been working really well for over 24 hours now, so we are cautiously optimistic that we have found a solution um, and a and a company that is able to provide us with. Um, it it's not cheap, but it is more affordable than using our phones for you know copious amounts of data so on and so forth and you know uploading daily YouTube videos but it means now that I can I can go back and I can watch your videos so I have a lot of catching up to do um, but I did I I dipped my toe in the water last night with a little bit of, of um, crafty watching and it was really nice it was, felt really really nice so I'll share I'll share more about um, the this particular channel I'll share in a, in a little bit. Let me just share quickly my other crafts with you. So first up, I'll share my Smalls Exchange stitching. So Kimberly H, if you're watching this, now's the time to close your eyes. I'm not going to say out loud what it is. I'm going to put up a photo of the chart that I'm stitching so that those who are watching will know what it is and what it's supposed to look like when it's done. And I will write all of the information on the screen under that screen cap. I'll put it up for about five or six seconds. So if you want to know the information, just hit the pause button and then I'm going to show you my progress. And then Kimberly, I'll tell you when you can open your eyes. Now I, you did mention on the Facebook channel that you were kind of trying to avoid my channel lately. So you didn't spoil the surprise, but just in case you're watching. Um, I'll let you know when to open your eyes. Okay, so close your eyes because I'm gonna put that screen cap in right now. And here's where I am on my progress. So you can see I have started this part here and finished this and started this one right here. So that's about all I can say out loud without giving out too much information. Okay, so it's coming along. All right, so now I'm going to Put this down. And Kimberly, it is now safe to open your eyes again. <sighs> now, Savon. Here's where I wish I had one of those, you know, time warp machines where you could just freeze time but still keep moving yourself and be able to do whatever you wanted for as long as you want because I don't want to put it away. I don't want to put it away, but I also equally want to finish my Glendon Place Hope and Strength piece before the end of October. And if I don't put away Savon and get back to my Glendon Place, that's not going to happen. And I really, I, I love working on my Glendon Place. 
just as much as Savant. So it's not like it's a hardship or anything. It's just, I want to do both. <laughs> I want to work on both. And I want to work on 10 other things at the same time. But I, I know that because I'm, I, I'm going to be starting the Jeanette Douglas stitch along at the end of October, it's really important to me that I finish up um, Cheryl's stitch along first properly so that it's complete and done and beautiful and then I can sort of revel in that and then I can start the the next stitch along because I may also be joining in another stitch along at the beginning of October but that's not my stitch along so I don't feel like I have to complete my Glendon place before the beginning of October because this particular stitch along isn't mine I'm going to tell you more about that on Monday. It's a good one. Anyways, they're all good ones, right? This is why we need more time. So I took my Savon off the frame and I thought I would share a beauty shot with you before I roll it up and put it away for the next few months. Um, I don't see myself getting back to this until, let's be realistic, November at the earliest. And I'm going to miss it. So here, here's where I'm at. And, you know, there's still a lot more stitching to be done on this. I, you know, I'm fooling no one by saying, oh, I could finish it in two weeks. That's never going to happen. There, there's a, a lot of stitching left to do. But I am very, very pleased with the progress that I made while it was um, in he pretty heavy rotation in my stitching. So, uh, yeah, I just, I love it so much. The colors are just so beautiful. Okay, so this is Savan, S-E-V-A-N, by Landmark Tapestries and Charts. It is um, from the Tapesta Pillows Collection. It is one of 12 charts. They are six charts that are then duplicated in um, alternate colorways. And so I have actually already stitched this chart. It's called Arjesh, but in a completely different colorway. And I have shared it here on the channel before. Um, but this, um, those first five I stitched, I, I know I said six. There's one of the charts that didn't float my boat as much as the other five. So I'm stitching five for one of my kids and the other five colorways for my second child, which is Nicholas, of course. So this is the very first chart um, that will be one day included in his dowry. So um, I have a little bit of time. He's not getting married tomorrow. So I love it. Love it. I'm stitching this on a 16 count off-white Ada. And I'm using two strands of DMC. I love it. Just love it. Okay, so I'm rolling it up. I'm putting it away. Putting it away. And so when I keep projects like this on their scroll frame, on their scroll rods, I simply roll them up and then I have a pillowcase of um, rods. I have a few sets of rods. So I just keep them together neat and tidy. Um, projects that I know are that I'm not going to get to for a really long time, I'm likely to take them off the rods and just reattach them at a later date. Okay, so I did attach my Glendon Place to my actual lap frame. And here she is. So I, you know... Whenever I look at this, I think actually I have quite a bit more progress on it than, you know, than is normal for me in this amount of time. I really, really, really enjoy stitching on this piece. This is a free chart that is available for download from glendonplace.net um, and it's called Hope and Strength. I am stitching this on the called for materials that were provided to me by Cheryl of uh, Glendon Place herself. And it's, um, it's a timely chart. And so I am really, really wanting to finish this piece this year. It has a lot of meaning for me and I'm sure you all know why it has, has would have meaning for anyone 
uh, in the year 2020. And uh, I love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start back over here and I'm going to finish the second lion. And then I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to do all of the stitching in the top border. That's the next point of, of completion. And then when I'm completely done the stitching on that border, I'm going to move down here and I'm going to finish the words that are underneath um, those ones there. So I love it. I just love it. So like I said, I'm not, I'm not sad to be putting away Savon to be working on this. This isn't an I'd rather be stitching Savon. It's that I'd rather be stitching both plus everything else. So, oh, it's just, the fabric is just beautiful. This is a picture of this plus 32 count in the jade colorway. And the threads are dinky dyes silks and they are, they're beautiful. I stitch, um, my preferred lap frame is a K's Creation uh, lap frame, and I have, I have a couple of them. I really, really like them. My floor frame is a Hearthside Craftworks, and I have a link to a video in the drop-down box below if you, if you want to see a close-up of my floor frame that I stitch on. But when I'm at the cottage, I, I leave my floor frame at home in London and I use the, the lap frame here because then I can sit on the couch and then this sits on a pillow, one of the couch cushions. I simply put the couch cushion on my lap and then I put my lap, I put the frame on top of the pillow and then I, I stitch two handed. So, oh, love it. Okay, so that is, that's on the menu until it's done, until it's done, it's on the menu. Love it. I have been doing some knitting other than my sock. So I'm not gonna show you the Christmas sock today, I know. Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself. This is an old whip, but I love it. This is my European road trip shawl, and it is a free pattern by Les Bas Tricot, um, L apostrophe E S P A C E. E, new word, Tricot, T-R-I-C-O-T. -T. They also have a wonderful podcast. It's a yarn shop in Montreal, and I was lucky enough to, to visit and shop there um, a few years back now, and it's, uh, oh, it was a beautiful shop. I could have spent, I could have spent days in that shop, just sitting and smelling and listening to the conversations around me. It's just beautiful. Okay, so this is a free pattern on their website, and it is just a very, very simple um, wrap, shawl, that, oop, and I can see I've got some, some thread remnant on the bottom there, and probably a few Luna hairs too. But what I love about this is that it's see and some people this bothers but me this is one of my favorite things about this pattern is that do you see how it rolls do you see how it curls like that I love that I love that because I will be you know folding it up like this to wear it and I just I think that that is so pretty that curling detail there love it. Uh, my yarn is a very beautiful uh, holst garn in the, uh, I, can, I can never pronounce this, I'm not even going to try, it's just embarrassing every time I try. So I'm just going to show you on the screen here. So if you want to know the name of the color, look up now. There it is, it's finally focused. Okay, and this is the Coast yarn which is a 55 lambs wool 45 cotton and they come in 50 gram cakes and they are it's quite reasonably priced yarn for the quality and the yardage is amazing 50 grams really goes a long way it says it's 383 yards 350 meters and i just I, this, you, if you know me well, you know this is my color. I absolutely love this color. I think it was Karen on Instagram asked me 
uh, yesterday because I was working on this and I, I put it in a photo um, whether this was the yarn that Car the other Karen, Karen B, had gifted me last year at the New Jersey Floss Group Retreat from her daughter. And no, um, the yarn that Karen gave me was hand dyed by her daughter and it has a much more um, variegated, uh, beautiful cut. And I brought it because I fully intend to cast it on soon. I don't know when, but soon. I brought it, I brought needles. I have an easy chart in mind that I can just show off the beauty of the yarn. Um, the Less Is More shawl. I've already knit that shawl once and I love it so much that I, I want to knit it again. So this is, um, if this is a similar color, but Karen's daughter's yarn is even more beautiful. But this, you know, what's not to like? I love this. I love that color. Oh, it's so pretty. So I have knit, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 more rows since uh, the last time I showed it to you. And this is one of those projects where um, if I want comfort knitting, I just pick this up because it is um, just, I, I'm at the section where it's just knitting and purling. There's no increases, no decreases, just a slip stitch at the beginning of the row and I'm caught on my progress keeper here. I'm going to have to carefully fix that so it doesn't pull before I put that away. I'm just going to gently put that down. Okay. Um, so yes, at night when I'm tired, I will just knit a row. I don't like to leave it in the middle of the row on this shawl because I find that that leaves a, a tension gap on this um, sort of finer yarn. So I'm trying to make sure I have at least 20, 25 minutes. So even if I'm chatting, I can get all the way through a row. Love it. I just love that chart and the yarn. It's just a perfect, for me, it's just a perfect combo of comfort knitting. Okay. So that's, uh, that's all I've been working on craft wise, except for of course, uh, sewing shop update. I, I am hoping I'm aiming for Monday night. I'm thinking probably 8 PM Eastern standard time. Um, that seems a bit late. However, I still have a lot of work to do in order to get all of the different samples made. So I don't know. I, yeah, I, and I, I'd like to have a video out first. So it's going to be a big shop update and I know not everybody wants to sit through watching the shop update. So what I will probably do on Monday is put out two videos, one just crafty chat and one for the shop update. And that way, if you are totally disinterested, you don't even have to have it pop up, you know, at all. You can just completely avoid it. And, uh, I've got a pretty, pretty big number of, of bags going in. So, um, and then I've got new fabrics coming in a couple of weeks from now. So it's all exciting. My Christmas fabric arrived yesterday, not here. It arrived in London. So it's coming. <sighs> yeah, very exciting. Okay. So let me tell you about the new channel that I've been watching lately. Okay. Her name is Lorraine and her channel is LNS crafts. Okay. And so I'll pop that up on the screen, but I'll also put a link in the drop down box below that will take you directly over to her channel. Now I found Lorraine probably, I don't know, six weeks ago, maybe. And I, it was because of an Instagram page that I follow laced with loveliness. I think at laced with loveliness was the page that I follow who posted a photo of her whip that she was working on while she was watching LNS crafts. And I thought, Oh, um, looks interesting. Check it out. I'm always up for, you know, watching new people. And as soon as I hit play her voice, <laughs> she's from the UK. And if you, you know, I have a fondness for, um, different accents. My mother-in-law um, was British and I am, I am comforted, especially by um, a British accent. So as soon as she started talking, I thought, oh, I really like her voice. And then she started just, you know, um, she's a multi-crafter like me. And so her whole video was knitting 
and she's 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 a very good knitter and so she was knitting garments and garments that fit her really well and so I was inspired by that thinking you know maybe it's not that hard maybe I could knit myself a cardigan and then this last episode she has finished uh, the Hohe Locatelli uh, long line cardigan which has been in my Ravelry queue forever because it's such a beautiful um, what you know what when the those pieces the pieces that you have in your wardrobe that will never go out of style and it is just a very simple elegant cardigan that like a shell type thing and I've I've really wanted to get out of my comfort zone and cast on that cardigan and she's finished hers I think actually I think this is the second one that she's knit and it's beautiful it's perfect and I think oh I really want to knit some one of the, one of those and so her knitting is inspiring so and then the last video she was sharing some diamond painting and then she's also just gotten into cross stitch and she's so excited about you know cross stitch and she's learning all of these new things all the time and then now she's into tapestry which um different term here we would call it needlepoint so now that reminds me I was thinking about this when I was watching her channel last night because I had dug this out last week I left my little tapestry piece here two years ago and I have done only a tiny bit of the cream at the bottom but Lorraine has inspired me to dig it back out. I've got all of the wool, all of the wool that I need for this is in my project bag. I love it. So thanks to Lorraine, I am going to, you know, every once in a while, put a few more stitches into this because it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'd love to have this done one day. Love that. Okay, so tapestry, she's into tapestry and she's just so, you know, you know when you, you meet someone and they're so enthusiastic about something new and they watch everything they can find on it and they listen and chat and, and ask questions and, and learn and I, I just think that that's so fun and so it's, it's a really enjoyable 45 minutes for me watching her. So LNS Crafts. Her name is Lorraine. Um, she has a, she was mentioning and she was talking about these socks that she was knitting and then she mentioned that it was her own pattern called the biscuit socks. So I of course had to pop over um, and she has links in, she has very good notes on her, on her videos. It puts me to complete shame. But uh, there's a link to her biscuit socks in the drop down box below. So I wandered over and I checked out the pattern. And it's a vanilla sock with a little bit of a, of a twist. So it's kind of a basic sock with a little bit of interest added into it. I thought that's right up my alley. So I purchased the chart. I've tucked it into my, my Ravelry queue and uh, hope to cast those on at some point, but I know that they're there. And I, you uh, don't know what, do you know what I thought of immediately when I saw the, the pattern? Big gray socks but big medium gray socks for myself because I love the yarn I don't mind knitting gray socks they'd be smaller because they'd be for me and they would have just a little bit of interest added in that I think would make the knitting go a little bit faster so what do you think it's a possibility okay so anyways I will leave a link to her channel down below and I hope that you enjoy visiting with her as well um, we don't know each other by the way, she doesn't know me from, from Steve down the road. Uh, so it's just, I simply found her channel. I enjoyed it. I thought you might too. Okay. So that is it. I am, I, I have some sewing to get to this afternoon and some Glenn Place hope and strength stitch along stitching to do some smalls exchange stitching to do and, uh, some coffee drinking to be had. So, on that note, I will leave you until Monday. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, happy stitching everybody.
I'll see you on Monday. Take care.